Good morning from Wahine, October the 11th, uh, prepping for typhoon number 19, which is uh, blasting its way through tomorrow evening, probably. Uh, waves will not be an issue. Wind will be. I've taken down the jib sail. I'm going to do double moorage lines. All of this is learning all the time how the boat behaves. Well, the uh, rain is coming down in torrents and uh, uh, the wind will pick up in eight to 10 hours. I think I'm as prepared as I can be. Uh, the neighbor's in his boat as well, so I'm not alone. We may evacuate at some point. Some of the boats have run stern lines uh, all the way across the dock. Once again, I'm learning lots. I'm studying what other people are doing. I'm absorbing what I think I need to do for mine. And um, see how it goes. Well, good morning. It's uh, Sunday, October the 13th, 2019. Uh, number 19 has passed, Hagibis, as it's otherwise known. You know, while it took many hours for the intensity to build up, it was amazing how soon the calm came after the ferocity of about 90 minutes where um, I was hoping that all the preparations would have uh, would ha hold the double bore lines, etc. And they did. Um, and I'm grateful, as always, uh, through times of uh, challenge, the things that you learn, and I learned practical things or was, or helped refine some practical skills like uh, mastering the, the bowl and knot, uh, which I did countless times over for a number of different uh, preparations. And some of it was in the height of the storm where where my offenders were blowing up on deck and in a 60 second lull, I did crawl out, probably a foolish thing to do, uh, or some would say. But you know, I'm grateful for three reminders as well. Um, and the three reminders this morning, on this beautiful morning, I woke up with the stars shining. Now the sun is coming up, uh, hitting my face for the first time as I talk three reminders this morning that I'm grateful for. Important reminders. The first is when one is in a storm one's world and time and space does shrink and you're caught up with your circumstance and you are unlikely to empathize or you empathize less it's good to be aware of that second thing that has the fierceness of the storm is acute one does not regret any investment in preparing for the storm uh, my friend Kurt Boyle in Auckland pointed that out many months ago. He's been nearly at Mayday status in the open ocean. And he said, Lol, you won't regret any dollar you spent at that point. And thirdly, 
uh, something I'd learned living and working for short periods in war zones, that danger is a matter of proximity. A few meters can make the difference between comfortable and safe and acute risk. And the same in a storm. It's where you physically place yourself that's critical. From a distance, the whole area looks scary, but in fact, it's location, it's location, it's location. So finally, a quote from a person I respect, Cory Aquino. I remember when her husband landed in Manila, and I have followed the family since. Faith is not simply a patience that passively suffers until the storm is past. Rather, it is a spirit that bears things, with resignations, yes, but above all, with blazing, serene hope. Well, tomorrow will be another day. There'll be more storms. And we resign ourselves to our fate at times, but we never give up on that blazing, serene hope.